Do you know what is one of the main challenges for a content creator? I don't know. Pretty simple to review? Well, yes, but it's not the point of this video. Okay, what then? Time. Making a 10 minutes video of quality content requires hours or even days, especially if you're alone, like me, and making videos is only a hobby with a full-time job that leaves you only a couple of hours of free time. When I make videos about extreme overclocking or testing components, I usually have two cameras, plus an HDMI capture card and an external audio recorder. So it means four files that need to be stored and then synchronized in post-production. But why am I telling you all this? Because this video is about making a 4K dedicated PC for recording and streaming. A tool that helps me to record the scene that I want in just one click, like this. See? Like this. Or like this, just one click away. With this system I can produce only one high quality file that just needs to be cut and edited. Less time in post-production and a lot less space to be stored. Plus, now I can do live streaming even in 4K in Twitch or YouTube. But now, let's build it! The first thing I'm gonna do is to prepare the motherboard. I have chosen specifically this one, the Gigabyte Aorus Gaming 7 X470, because I think it's one of the best motherboards for the VRM section for AMD. And I have been using this motherboard since one year and I never had an issue. The support for the BIOS is exceptional and the memory as well gives you a lot of compatibility with a lot of models. Uh, in this case, I'm using the G-Skill Flare X. I think it's the best memory kit you can buy right now for Intel or for AMD. I'm using this kit even for extreme overclocking. I can even reach levels of world record. So if you plan to buy a system, whatever, if it's AMD or Intel, and you want a good kit of memory, just go straight to the Flare X. Probably is, it will be good enough even for the upcoming Ryzen 2. The CPU is another very important part of this build. I have a Ryzen 7 2700X. Plenty of power, very efficient, and I think is the best 8 core for value in the market right now. For the storage, I'm using a Samsung 970 Evo 512GB. I don't need much space here because every time I finish a project it goes straight to the NAS. And then I pick up from there with my iMac 5K that is a kit with a 10GB network card. But I will cover the NAS topic in a separate video. As you have seen, I have three components from Be Quiet. The CPU cooler, the PSU and the chassis. A build like this must be silent, and I'm pretty sure with this brand I can achieve everything I need for this type of work. BeQuiet is a premium brand and here we have everything we can expect. Build quality, nice design and that orange touch in the components that is a perfect match for our motherboard. The cooler comes with a kit that is good for Intel and AMD. Plus, in the package we have a nice screwdriver. Now it's time to mount the PSU in the chassis. As you can see, the chassis is toolless. One thing that I like about this is that we have a now a noise dampening foam in the side panel. This should be very helpful to reduce the noise. The PSU is a straight power 11, 650 watt, fully modular enough power to do everything we want and silent operation.
The build now is almost ready, I just need to plug in the GPU and the HDMI acquisition card. The GPU is an AVGA RTX 2060, more than enough even if I want to play and stream at the same time, using the latest NVIDIA encoder. And then we have an Evermedia 4K, I can record up to 4K 60fps. Oops. You think you're funny? This is the worst Linus impression ever! But I didn't do it on purpose. Come on, be quick. I have other things to do today. Yeah, yeah. Like what? I don't know. Watch Netflix, get some sleep. Alright, time to power on. Are you ready? Yeah, it seemed very nice. I think that for today's video we're done, but don't miss the next one, I'm going to do the setup and benchmark this beast. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter and follow me on Twitch. I'm going to start streaming there very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Hey buddy, what do you think about this video? Good, right? Not so great. Your English suck and you have a very funny accent. Why are you so mean every time? I'm trying to do my best here. I think I'm gonna fire you. Well, you can't. We are the same person. I'm you. Yeah, one day I will find a way to get rid of you. If you say so, I'm going editing this stupid video. Try not to break anything, will you? <laughs>